and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. <laughs> I was about to say Silent Hill. I uh, hope everyone's having a fantastic morning new night roller in the world. And as per usual with these particular games, I'm joined by the roommate Ronin. Hello. And we're going to see this last left off with Phoenix Wright with part 4-2 of the trial. And happy Halloween to everyone. And if you are watching this on YouTube, uh, we hope you had a good Halloween. Yeah. We put a sign up that says we don't have candy, so we shouldn't get any no anyone knocking, but sometimes people don't read, so maybe the dog might bark because of that. So far warning. But uh, yeah, happy spooky month. <laughs> happy spooky month. Alright, February 10, 106 p.m., District Court, courtroom number 7. I think the only thing that's going to be an issue with the audio is to be the fan and the vibe, but it's too fucking warm today. <laughs> oh yeah, I got the dead cat, it's good enough. Now then, let's continue where we left off, shall we? Well, witness! Yes, how can I help you, Mr. Judge? Well, it seems that if we were... Hello, my boy. That if we are to learn the truth, we'll need to hear your testimony. I have no problem with that. But you... But when you've seen what I have, sometimes the truth is better left unknown. Are you done? <laughs> In any case, let's hear your testimony. <laughs> Judge literally couldn't give more, less of a fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool, you're dead. Tell us. <laughs> Tell us about the plan that was carried out that night. The whole plan began with my death. A stupid plan hatched by Morgan Fay to instill her own daughter as the next master. But for it to work, Maya Fay would first have to die. The idea was for me to kill Maya and then have the blame pinned on Iris. The plan went wrong, but it seems to have succeeded anyway. So that means you really are bad. Wait a minute. Did you just say the plan was to kill Maya Fey? Yes. You have a problem with that? Don't give us that nonsense. <laughs> Watch yourself, Trite. I'm ready to be angry again. Glug, glug, bitch. <laughs> Whiny motherfucker. If you've got a problem, solve it during the cross-examination. You are now bound to my rules, even though my means that they are for me only. Learn your boundaries, motherfucker! Hello. Here, snuggle boy. Roly poly. <laughs> Roly poly, indeed. Roly poly, papo. Mr. Godot is correct! We must all listen to his rules! Ugh. And by the way, that's one of my rules as well. <laughs> well, we're in your court, so it makes sense to listen to your rules. <laughs> you good? Are you okay, my boy? Phoenix? <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? Oh, yeah. Up up here, hi. Hey, buddy. Oh, hello. Thank you for the kissy. Shake, shake, shake. Uh, mm. Alrighty. To kill Maya? Could it be true? Why wouldn't it be true? This bitch has been crazy since day one. Or awful since day one. Like, yeah, of course she would. Okay, press all the statements. Uh, you're ready to read. Lots of reading for this one. Yep. I gotta press every single statement she mm. just said. So. <clears throat> you were executed last month, correct? Gotta love that fucking audio. Alright. 
Yes, I was hanged. It wasn't exactly pleasant. It's not supposed to be. How did you manage to discuss the plan? When did you talk with Morgan Fay? Must make bread. Angrily make pillows my bed. Right? <laughs> Last year she was transferred to the same detention center as me. Since I was on death row, she was, and she was my mother, it was actually pretty easy to meet with her. Did I fucking... No, I did not. That's why it's all weird. <laughs> I was like, why does it sound funky? I'm like, oh, because that's why. So I see. So that's when you discussed the plan? <laughs> Are you crazy? At first, that woman was planning to kill me as well. Even though I'm her own daughter. All to make Pearl Fay the master of Karain? To be fair, I don't... Th I think... All but Pearls don't have any spiritual, like, powers at all, so... <laughs> I don't know why they would, she would want to kill them. She's a cold, twisted woman. Fucking... That coming from you is hilarious. Pot calling the kettle black. She thought she could finally regain her lost honor. The honor she lost when her younger sister, Misty, took her place as the master. How do you lose honor just because someone's better than you at something? Ah! <laughs> Ever since that day, she's been working on this plan. Hmm, a plan, huh? Stupid plan hatched by Morgan Faden, still her own daughter's next master. You're talking about Pearl Fay, is that correct? Yes, though at first she had a high hope for the two of us. You and your twin sister, Iris? That's correct. Fortunately, neither of us had much spiritual power. That's why we were abandoned by her, along with our father. Your parents are shit! <laughs> Abandoned? I don't know about her dad, but her mom definitely. The dad went, Sorry, hon, you're not powerful and you're not doing enough, so, like, I'm leaving. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. He did do that. He, like, they dipped because, Oh, these, this woman I married isn't powerful. Bye. Oh, the children I, I bore, they're, they're not powerful. Bye. I'm like, What the fuck? Shit in their own ways. Hmm. The only person I ever really cared about in, in life was myself. No shit. <laughs> I'm surprised how well adjusted Iris and Pearl are, honestly. Right? <laughs> like, fuck. My sister was a nuisance, so I convinced my father to leave her in an old temple. You... What I just said still stands. <laughs> you mean Iris? Yes. My father remarried a woman who also had a daughter. The less children you have, the more money there is to go around, right? Why swap one for the other, though? Like, it, it didn't give you more money just because you, you got rid of a sister. You would have had another sister regardless. On top of that, my father had absolutely no interest in children in general. Then why he fucking? You, you correct, Judge. <laughs> oh, horrible. The really horrible one was that woman. That bitter, vengeful woman. You can't say shit! It was her stubbornness that gave birth to that child, Pearl Fay. What's wrong with her wanting to have another child, other than the fact that she's only doing it for power? Outside of that. She was born with an abundance of spiritual power, unfortunately for her. Morgan Fay heaped all of her broken hopes and dreams onto what to that poor child's back. I'll she did the same to you! All because of her pathetic dream of having her bloodline become the main family. Oh my god. <laughs> I suggest therapy for generational trauma. <laughs> my Maya would have to die? But why? For our bloodline to succeed as the main family, thus making Pearl the new master, the remaining descendants of the current master had to be taken care of. 
But Pearls would never agree to a plan like that. Like they were gonna fucking tell her. Yeah. She adores Maya. How sad. You still don't get it, do you? What Pearls wanted had nothing to do with it. Morgan didn't care one bit about Pearl. The only thing she cared about was the position of the master. That's all. No shit. No, it's not, Phoenix. We wish it was. Unfortunately, it's not. Parents like that don't give a fuck. That's ridiculous. She was willing to sacrifice anything and anyone to achieve her goal. The life of her daughter, and naturally the life of Maya Fey as well. How could anyone do that? Phoenix, you've met Morgan Fay. Yeah. Please. <laughs> the idea was for me to kill Maya and have blame pinned on Iris. You? You are going to kill Maya? Pearls didn't need to know anything about it. All she had to do was follow the instructions in the letter and channel me. Then I would have simply used her body and finished the job. In any case, I'm already dead, and there's nothing any of you can do to me. Banish you to the pits of fucking hell I would mean, be a- We could just be brutally honest with her, because trust me, if you force her to stay channeled and put her through therapy, she'd be furious for a bit. <laughs> but at least she would, at some point, maybe, have a, 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 like, a decent afterlife and be like, you know what, I was wrong, bye! I don't think so. No, with this bitch, fuck no. <laughs> so the plan was to blame, eh, blame the crime on your younger twin. On Sister Iris of Hazakura Temple. Fuck this weatherman. Yeah, joints are not happy. His <sighs> hips are probably fucking with him too. Like, <sighs> we had pretty cool weather for the past week, or actually for the past couple weeks, which was great. It felt like fall. Today, 20 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. And my wrist is like, fuck you. <laughs> All the expanding gas. Oh. I'm actually gonna find my gloves. There you go. <clears throat> they were in there for the, for the summer because like mm. my joints weren't achy, but now that it's winter and <laughs> time to take them out. Uh, wrong, wrong glove. I only need the one glove. She and I look absolutely identical. No one can tell us apart. If someone were to witness <laughs> me killing Maya, naturally they would think I, it was Iris that had done it. And the witness in this case was the head nun, Sister Bikini. I never would have guessed she was going to return to Hazakura Temple that night. But she would, she would run up seeing Iris crime anyway. But why did you want to pin the murder on Iris in the first place? Because <clears throat> she's a cunt. My wrist is really fucking <laughs> killing me right now. What? I thought you said Iris is really fucking killing me. No, my, my, my wrist. wrist. I was like, huh? My wrist. Processing, processing. Ah. She's your twin sister, isn't she? Twin sister? Don't make me laugh. She's nothing but a backstabber. I couldn't care less about her. She's a backstabber? Uh, okay. You just don't understand. You never will. Not if you don't explain it. Anyway. I'm with wrong. You think the plan was a success? In what way? You heard me. Just as that woman had hoped. Maya Fey is dead. Now the title of the master will pass on to Pearl Fey. That's absurd. Maya is just... Absurd. That's what I said. There was a, a lot more Z to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She's yeah. just trapped. Trapped inside the sacred cavern. 
Really? You're as foolishly optimistic as ever, aren't you? My darling Feeny. Are you sure you're not just a pessimist looking at my optimism negatively? Do you want to know the truth? Ever since we met, I've despised you. Cool. Your sniveling naivete and your pathetic faith in other people. Me. Mm. <laughs> I just want to know one thing. What did you personally think of Morgan Fay's plan? I told you already, didn't I? It was a stupid plan. It had no point, no value other than fulfilling her own greedy desires. Yes, it was certainly nothing to be proud of. If that's how you feel, why did you help her carry it out? Spite? Why else would she? Why would you do it? Why would you kill Maya? You may not understand it, being the kind and gentle soul that you are. You may not even be able to appreciate why someone like me would help a woman like that. So then tell me, why? Isn't it obvious? I'm not like that woman. I only act in my own self-interest. The reason I helped her was for myself. For my own personal satisfaction. What you say? <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> so this woman, Dahlia Hawthorne, she had her own reason for wanting Maya dead. She hates you. Maya's your friend. <laughs> Obviously, it's because you were helping Morgan Fay. Helping? Don't make me laugh. From the day I was born to the day I died, I never helped anyone. I lived for myself, and in the end, I died for myself. I thought that was obvious. So she wasn't actually cooperating with Morgan. She was, she was just using Morgan and her plan so she could accomplish her own goal. All I wanted to do was kill Maya Faye. That was the only thing. Oh, well, nope, that not the only thing. <laughs> that was the only way I could think of to get revenge. Revenge? <laughs> it looks like I have no choice but to present that piece of evidence. I can't believe it. She meant to kill Maya. I've got to keep a cool head. And I need to get more information out of her. It's the only way to understand this plan and what she was after as well. Okay. Actual goal had nothing to do with Maya Fey herself. As I said, none of you have the power to punish me anymore. All right. Because I'm already dead. Yes, yes. Well, I had the same problem, you see. You can't punish the dead, and you can't take revenge against them either. Well, you can in these situations. You wanted to take revenge on someone. I was sentenced to die because of that woman. Mia Fey. I somehow knew this was it. <laughs> like how that's there just in case it's like, Hey player, don't worry, we know you guessed, but it's alright. <laughs> I wanted to send her a message. Mm -hmm. It was at her hands that I suffered my first humiliation. I want her to feel the same pain she made me feel. Sadly, when I realize revenge was impossible, I give up. And the reason it was impossible was perhaps because Mia Fey had already died. Yes, and I realize there's only one way to take revenge against the dead. 
And how do you do that? Even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, lives on forever. I want to take away the person that Mia Fey loved the most. I wanted to kill her own... Her, her, I wanted to kill her with my own hands. And that would be the one and only way I could take my revenge against Mia Fey. That was the reason I helped up with that woman's plans. Just for that? For that, you would kill Maya. She's crazy, bird. Like, what are you not understanding? She is <laughs> only out for herself. Of course She's she would. She's a maniac, maniac. She literally would, of course, do these because, yeah, she didn't give a fuck. Your goal was no different than that of Morgan Fay. As they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. What a cruel plan. Cruel, cold, and heartless. Hmm. Don't waste your time preaching to the dead. If it annoys you, it's worth it. I've, I've already told you. There's not a thing you can do to me. Someone break out the karaoke machine. Someone fucking get the exorcism, exorcism done and just break whoever the fuck she's taking control of right now. No, let's annoy her until she wants to leave. Let's just... <laughs> She says you can't punish the dead. We will punish her by being a nuisance. That night. At about 9.30 p.m., I materialized into this world. I quickly pinned my hair up and put on, the demon war uh, put on a demon warding hood. And then I picked up the staff that was by my side and left Hazakura Temple. So, it was Elise de Nim who channeled her after all. And that's ridiculous, head nun. Never noticed a thing. She left Maya Faye at, at the inner temple and wobbled back, clutching her poor old back. What did you do then? And that kid was easier to handle than I had hoped. I caught up with her in front of the stone lantern. And then I took out the dagger I got from the storeroom and... Oh, hello! <laughs> Sup, Amelie? Uh, Emily. You know what? I bet you can build a car with a... Sorry to be kind of slow in bed. I'm in a car on Belgian. How road. about you leave your phone alone until you're at your location? I don't think he's driving. <laughs> okay. Hopefully it's one of those. He's His parents are probably the one driving. <laughs> I'm no driving. We doing good. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. <laughs> I'm no driving. <laughs> Skull. Happy Halloweens, everybody. <laughs> Happy Halloweens. <laughs> so then you... You're saying you stabbed Maya? It's somehow shocking to me that you'd stab her even though you tried to poison me. <laughs> right. It's like, bro, she's dangerous. <laughs> it's strange, but... I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. What does that mean? No clear memory. I don't know. I think... I think I was stabbed. A little tired, but okay. Happy. Happy Halloween! Hello. You were stabbed? At the last minute, my fae must have stabbed me. I'm sure of it. <laughs> she got one jab in. <laughs> Hoppa! <laughs> That's not like her at all. Maya wouldn't stab a french fry with a plastic fork. That's funny. <laughs> you just visited extended family because of information leakers. My extended family thinks I'm dating a girl, which I am not. And the three kids didn't shut up and made me almost adult twister. Never driving home. Also, the meat sauce tasted like pear. pear. What? <laughs> Hold on here. <laughs> visited extended family because of information leakers my extended family thinks i'm ah. dating a girl oh and the three kids didn't shut up 
and made me... Play Twister. <laughs> uh, he, he did a correction after the fact. <laughs> uh, also because of info leakers. Sorry. <laughs> so they think you're dating someone you're not, and three kids were annoying. Uh, <laughs> Typing... <laughs> Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Yeah. Anyway, my suddenly la- I- Ugh. <laughs> la la Am I on YouTube as well? Yes, I am. Any of my VODs here get put on the YouTubes. Down below is the link. Anyway, I suddenly lost consciousness. But before I did, I scrolled her name on the lantern. Just as I was passing out, I rode Maya behind my back. I had hoped it would cast suspicion on her. I can't believe she was thinking of that until the bitter end. If Cousinus Sinus Intelligent was a person, I'd fight him. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. And that's where my memories temporarily stops. It stop. Hi, Papa. It stops? Popper. I don't have any memory of actually killing my F.A. with my own two hands. My very last memory was... Shock Maya face. <laughs> <laughs> Maya's terror-filled eyes. When I woke up after that, I was in the sacred cavern, surrounded by darkness. You were in the sacred cavern. The entrance was sealed with, with one of those trick locks. Somehow I had been trapped in there. But how did you wind up in there? I'd like to know that myself. Anyway, I was worried. I didn't know whether or not my F.A. was dead. <laughs> and I swore I wouldn't return to the underworld until I knew I... Until I knew I had killed her myself. Hmm. For a ghost. You're one tough cookie. I wanted to get out of there and make sure she was dead. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't get out. The fuck is up with the storyline? A lot of things. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this game has a lot of weird stuff in it. The trick lock stopped you, huh? Underworld ghost motherfucker, what kind of court case is this? <laughs> yeah. Um, this game has a lot of supernatural shit, primarily um, spirit mediums and being able to channel the spirit in their body and actually take them as a physical form where you can actually see what the fuck they look like. Uh, yeah, right now she's being channeled by someone. We don't know who yet. Hence why that whole entire conversation. <laughs> hmm. I didn't know how to remove it. So then you're saying... You were actually confined against your will inside of this sacred cavern? Yes. I wanted to get rid of that annoying lock as soon as possible. But it wasn't easy. <laughs> 70 percent of the time I don't pay attention to the game because we goofing. My paprika keeps falling. Belgian road sucks. <laughs> good job. And we're in a pickup with good suspension. Oh no. Have fun. So that means you have really shitty potholes, my guy. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's back home in a nutshell. Yeah. Old roads. Kent County, freaking good luck. <laughs> Oh, we just entered a god tier road. It's still black. <laughs> oh, jeez. But it wasn't easy. I kept getting interrupted while I was working on it. Interrupted? Um, uh, it was early in the morning, but someone came into the training hall. What? Who? Could it have been Maya? <laughs> ba ba ba! No. <laughs> Oh dear. I thought the same thing, but I couldn't see. Why not? 
If someone had spotted me, I would have lost my chance to take revenge. So I made sure to hide myself well at the back of the sacred cavern. That morning, only two people could have gone into the training hall. Maya and Pearls. Pearls? <laughs> Piles. 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 Piles went there. <laughs> to cover the hanging scroll and gravy. Still, I finally managed to remove the locks. Not locks, just one lock. Imagine if you could send pics in Twitch chat, it would be chaotic. Oh god. <laughs> That would be chaotic. <laughs> Bro, there would be nothing but nudes. Yeah, Twitch would have to, like... Just the fact that we had to stop using the word simp for a while because of how out of hand it got, yeah. you know every chick on Twitch would have nudes up the wazoo. There's a lot of shit on Twitch right now where I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> but anyways. That's why I'm scared to start Twitch. I meant with the on-off thingy. Thing? Oh, big streamers can turn it off. Yeah. But it was too late. What do you mean by that? I mean, honestly, I don't think if it's a big or a small streamer, I think anyone should be able to turn it off considering the weirdos she's had. <laughs> it's like, at the time, you weren't like a huge streamer or anything, but <laughs> people are gonna creep no matter what. Some people are just weird. <laughs> the flies had already started to gather. The bridge had been fixed and the police had started their investigation, correct? Naturally, I couldn't go out. So instead, I returned to the cavern and put the lock back on myself. I realized I, couldn't, I wouldn't get a chance to see Maya's corpse as I had hoped. But just then, Lady Luck showed up. Lady Luck? After that big earthquake, she showed up all by herself. Iris. <laughs> the real Iris. She said she had... She said she'd come to make sure the sacred caves was alright. Stupid girl. I came out from the sacred cavern and got a feel for the situation. And I locked her away in my place. We're get... Where were we last? Okay, on off thingy. Big streamers can turn off. Uh, chat wouldn't be flooded. We... We're get new galactic star, star destroyer on... Or an ATAT, -AT, which is, they're both Star Wars stuff. Okay. With insurance and a license. Star destroyer comes with full crew, several TIE fighter docks. ATAT -AT comes with a. Oh, w uh, that's would you rather? Okay. Oh, uh, would you rather? That comes with two by ten stormtrooper deployable combat teams in the back. So, would you rather get a new Galactus? Okay. Fair enough. I don't know jack shit about it, so. Yeah. Any, all, any of my friends that are in the uh, into either Star Wars or Star Trek, they're like, which one did you like? I was like, I, it's space stuff. I never got into it. Sorry. They're like, Aah! Star Trek, I've never got into it. Star Wars, I did. Like, I actually enjoy Star Wars. But. Hi, yo, kitty. I'm not entirely sure which one I would pick, honestly. <laughs> hey. I finally, I had finally learned exactly what had happened. My boy in his Halloween bow tie. Him and my papa have the matching bow ties. I love Star Wars, Ruin and Scotty beam me up. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Hi, Bumby. Five percent on the phone. <laughs> oh no. My boy. He got to eat quail. I'll today. reach out later. Okie dokie. Wee! Bye, Frumpy. Oh, now you're coming back this? Oh. <laughs> you want the window. I see. Here, let me move this out of the way so you don't knock it down. He ate half a chick this morning and then half a quail right after because he's a fat ass. <laughs> I didn't know that he already ate the 
chick, and then he came up. My dog was like, eh, it's new, I don't know what to do with it. And my cat was just like, I'll eat half the fucking quail. No problem. <sighs> As in in an hour. Cute. We'll see if we're still on by then. I have to do a lot of things before bed. Yeah. It was then that I learned that the plan had actually succeeded. What do you mean your plan had, su had succeeded? I'd misunderstood one thing, you see. That night, the one that summoned me, had I had assumed it was Pearl Fay. Well, of course you would have assumed that. It was written in the instructions. But I was wrong. The person that I had actually called my spirit back was... Misty Fay, The picture book author. What? Well, that's really the only possibility, isn't it? After I lost consciousness in the garden. It was her body that was left lying there. Maya Fay. I wasn't able to kill her with my own hands after all. But even so, I made her commit the most vile sin a human can commit. She didn't commit it then. You did. That's like me holding your hand and stabbing someone with your hand. You didn't stab anyone. It's me being bad. And that is... Matricide. The sin of killing her own mother. Uh... No way! <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> Again, legally, she didn't do jack shit, ya yeah, bitch. <laughs> order, order in the court. What is the meaning of this? Technically, it would be self-defense. <laughs> if that actually happened. <laughs> it's true that I was the one who attacked Maya Fey. But even so, the murderer who actually snuffed up Misty Fey's life was none other than your darling little Maya. Again, this means nothing. It was your brain. <laughs> she wasn't even there, bro. Ridiculous. That's nonsense. Are you sure about that? Just think about it. There's even evidence supporting these facts, isn't there? What? What do you mean? What is this so-called evidence? The fact that Maya Fey has disappeared is evidence enough, isn't it? Hmm. The idea that she's still in the sacred cavern is just ridiculous. She wasn't even. She wasn't even. Well, well, well. She wasn't able to escape from the inner temple. That much is obvious. In that case, there's only one place she could be. Where? Do I have to spell it out? The bottom of the Eagle River. Where else? Short circuiting. Eagle River. My F.A. killed her long-lost mother. Can you imagine the kill she must have felt when she realized that? That's why she threw herself in the Eagle River. Most bodies that wind up in there are lost forever. This bitch. Again. So what do you have to say now, Feeny? Pretty sure you're just a bitch. Like... Maya didn't do jack shit. <laughs> uh, Whose sad ass phone is that? Oh, this is the um. Oh, what's this thing called? <laughs> of course, it's you. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. What, what kind of ringtone is that? So sad. <laughs> what is that theme called? Well, it's the, um, Diego Armando's theme. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Get out here. Okay, thanks. Beep. Well, I'd fucking hope so, considering he picked it up in court! Was it something important? They just finished removing the locks from the sacred cavern. That's great! What about Maya? 
There was a woman in the cave. Was it my affair? It was the accused, Sister Iris. Huh? Don't look so surprised. I locked her in the here in there yesterday. I just finished telling you that. So what about Maya? Where is she? There was no one else found inside the sacred cavern. No. Why did they give him the goofy face for something that's supposed to be tragic? Yeah. <laughs> it can't be. I told you, didn't I? She's dead. No. I'm not ruining my voice. <laughs> no! no! <laughs> You don't need to yell, you just need to go, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 It seems that this case has come to an end, a tragic end. Tragedy! Oh, oh, oh. Sadly, it appears the killer of Elise Donim, also known as Misty Fay. Was her own daughter, Maya Fay. Overcome with guilt for what she had done, Maya Fay jumped to her death into the raging waters of the Eagle River. It can't be. <laughs> oh, no. <nope. laughs> I thought it was her too. I thought I. That's right. Have you ever heard this one? Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. That sexy jazz number. <laughs> I can already tell I'm gonna to want to shove my ass, my my foot up his ass for whatever he's about to say. I want to shove my ass up his foot. The fuck? <laughs> no matter how <laughs> improbable it may seem. What is that supposed to <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? How does one's ass go up a foot? <laughs> Prosecutor Godot, please explain. According to the witness. What are you doing, cat? Turn around. <laughs> Hi. Who's your happy kitty? He's happy that he can it's been outside again. Beep. Maya Fay threw herself into the Eagle River. However, is that really the truth? Remember, this woman testified earlier that the bridge was already on fire when the murder was taking place in the garden. Which means if Maya had thrown herself into the river, It must have been from the inner temple side near the bridge. That's right. That's where she jumped from. You said you didn't have any memory of that. But that's impossible. It's impossible to jump uh, into the river from there. What? Don't get your panties all twisted up, Troy. Just relax and think through the whole thing again. I thought he was going to pull some shit about, Oh, you've killed another one of the Fae sisters. And that's why I was like, I can already tell I want to punch him for this one. So it's impossible? Maya couldn't have thrown herself into Eagle River? Well, Mr. Wright. Miss Hawthorne claims Miss Fae threw herself into the river. River? River from, <laughs> from the Inner Temple side. Do you have any... Evidence. Godot is the one that brought it up! Why are you asking me? Oh yeah, it would be impossible. There's no river. <laughs> she could have jumped and like just died from the impact, but... <laughs> well, she, she would have died and we would have been able to see her body. Yes. But then nobody. <laughs> but then nobody. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nobody there. <laughs> It's impossible to jump into the Eagle River from the Inner Temple side. 
No one knows that better than this witness. What did you say? I said fuck you! <laughs> Eleven years ago, you jumped into, uh, into the very same river. Just take a look at this overhead map. As you can see, below the cliff on the inner temple side is a big rock shelf. Oh! Oh! You're right! Ta-da! <laughs> she wouldn't uh, have reached the river if she had, j had jumped from there. Jumped off there. In other words, if she had jumped, we should be able to see her body in this photo. <laughs> so you finally figured it out. You. No! Order! Order! You. She's playing with me. How? My face body is in the bottom of Eagle River. There's nowhere else she could possibly be hiding. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Miss Hawthorne. Have you ever heard this one before? Once, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Once you eliminate the pot, the impossible. Whatever remains must be the truth. Yes, yeah, just a few minutes ago. Maya Fey wasn't inside the sacred cavern. We now know that she didn't throw herself into the Eagle River. Correct. That eliminates. All the most likely possibilities. Now, although it seems improbable, there's still one other place she could be. What? What is this one possibility you're talking about? That, that, that's obviously a bluff. So where is her dead body then? Finally. I think the pieces are falling into place. Normally, the living have no way to punish the dead. But I think there's one way to give Dahlia Hawthorne the ultimate punishment. Shall I tell you, Miss Hawthorne? Shall I tell you where Maya Fey is this very instant? Maya Fey is... In this very courtroom! Is you, bitch! The only thing that doesn't change is hair color. <laughs> Ta -da. There's only one possibility left. Namely, she's right here in this very courtroom. What? <laughs> I can't change voice that quickly. You say she's here in my courtroom? Why, yes. Dahlia Hawthorne. I seem to recall that you said... I had misunderstood one thing, you see. So what? But I think there's one more thing you misunderstood. What do you mean? Tell me something. At this very moment, who is channeling Dahlia Hawthorne? Why, that, that's obvious. It's Pearl Fay, that pathetic little sniveling runt. You're wrong. Pearls tried, but she couldn't do it. Hey, minute. <laughs> I've never failed at channeling someone. This is the first time it's happened. Isn't there any explanation for why you couldn't channel a spirit? It could happen if someone else is already channeling the same spirit. When you walk your own <laughs> attempted murderer to court. <laughs> Someone called me before Pearl did? But who? I just said! Dumb bitch, figure it out! <laughs> Pearl's even tried again on the day after the crime. But she couldn't do it. What could that mean? I think the truth is becoming clearer to you right about now, am I correct? <laughs> it wasn't Pearl's that channeled you. There was someone who called you before she could. Maya herself! Cause fuck you, bitch! <laughs> this is an easy one. Pearls couldn't do it. 
and Misty Fay is gone. There's only one possibility left. Come on already! I can't stand the tension! Dahlia Hawthorne. The person channeling you right now must be... Maya Fay. Ma what? <laughs> but how could that be? Remember what this witness Dahlia Hawthorne said about her goal. We're well aware. It doesn't mean she's aware herself of who the fuck's channeling her. <laughs> she said that her goal was to kill Maya Fay. Yes, that's right. But if Maya channeled the spirit of someone that was trying to kill her, her memory stopped at one point! <laughs> well, Gramps, what would happen? Could it be? It looks like you finally understand, Your Honor. Well, well I don't. What are you going on about? Oh, we get to hurt your fucking ego, too. This is wonderful. What I'm going on about is the reason Maya channeled you. And there's only one reason. To protect herself from you. To protect herself from me? Duh. <laughs> yeah. On the night of the crime, you were the only... <laughs> you were only interested in one thing. Killing Maya Fey. The path back to Hazukura Temple was closed off and there was nowhere for her to run. So then the problem became, where would be the safest place to hide? Uh, uh, y you mean, that's when she channeled me? All this time you thought you had been channeled by pearls. That's why it never occurred to you. That Maya's hiding place was you. N no, no. Don't say that! <laughs> Go fuck yourself, princess! Y you're saying that I, Dahlia Hawthorne, was played for a fool by that little whelp? Yeah. <laughs> Why, if I killed herself, isn't it obvious? Mm hmm. It's more S obvious that she's alive and she's channeling you to not get killed by you. <laughs> Denial! Sorry, but no. It would have been impossible for her to jump into the Eagle River. This was the only avenue of escape open to Maya. The only way that Maya could disappear from the Inner Temple. I don't believe you. Of course you don't. A stupid little girl like that who has never been out in the real world. She could never have come up with a plan like that. Who could have given her such a brilliant idea? You give her too little credit. <laughs> Well, she's... Oh! <laughs> Mia! Well, me, of course. Mia Faye. That's been a long time, Dahlia Hawthorne. And there's pearls! <laughs> <laughs> so it's true. It was you. Yes. Oh, Mia, can you please tell him to get off his fucking high horse while you're here? <laughs> You're something else. But, but what? What are you doing here? Could ask you the same question. That hair. It's pearls, right? Tell me something, Dahlia. I want you to think back to that night one more time. You had just cornered Maya into the Inner Temple Gardens. And then in the final moment of the fight, you lost consciousness. I was stabbed by Maya Fey. Actually, Maya lost consciousness, consciousness at the same time as you. She did? <laughs> Mia, please, help me hate this guy more for your death, <laughs> even though you clearly support him and defend him. <laughs> Not terribly surprising since she was about to be killed. When I woke up, she was in the training hall. That's when Maya decided she needed help. So she channeled me. She explained to Mel the situation she was in. She
She asked me what I thought she should do. She did that? I can't believe it. Of course, I didn't have all the details. But one thing was perfectly clear. And that was? I knew that you couldn't be allowed to wander free. <laughs> You've literally been on a leash for this whole fucking time, you bitch. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that's perfect. Exactly what Dahlia needed. Free? What do you mean? It was a race against time. So I wrote down two things that Maya had to do. Channel Dahlia Hawthorne as soon as possible. And lock herself in the sacred cavern until help arrived. So it was Maya who put that lock on there. Yes, but why did you order her to do those two things? If she hadn't done it, Dahlia Hawthorne would have been channeled would have been channeled by someone else. By one Pearl Fay. Pearls? Pearls told you that she was going to! Yes, Pearl didn't properly understand the plan. So all she was trying to do was follow her mother, Morgan Fay's instruction. If she had succeeded in channeling Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit, things would have turned out very badly, to put it mildly. So that's how it was. Aw, oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Dahlia Hawthorne would have used the body of Pearl Fay to kill Maya at all costs. Yes, it certainly sounds like that was the in Are you happy, Kitty? <laughs> you fat fuck. <laughs> he's so full, he's just like, nothing Ting. can bother me. I tricked Dad into giving me two whole birds today. Happy Halloween. <laughs> It certainly sounds like that was the intent all along. How dare you! I won't forget this. Oh! <laughs> Sneeze guard! <laughs> Hi, my boy. You go fumble. I think he only actually. <laughs> you fuck off! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Gross. I know. He sneezed on. Stop! <laughs> Your nose. Oh my cat! <laughs> it's definitely going in the wash after the stream. Jesus yeah. Christ. He's like, hey, hold my snot. Gross. <laughs> yep. <sighs> you nasty. <laughs> I'm looking for shiny bits. I'm, like, I'm looking for shiny bits. <laughs> Yo. You motherfucker. <laughs> Hi, Frumpy. God. Why not just admit it, Dolly Hawthorne? <laughs> Your little plan was nothing but a big failure. Frumpy. <laughs> yes, another failure to add to the pile of shame, wouldn't you say? What do you mean by another? Think about it, Dahlia. Remember all your past crimes? Not a single one of them was a success. They all ended in failure. What? How dare you? Because you deserve it. <laughs> Eleven years- <laughs> Let's run through every failure you've ever- <laughs> Hell yeah! First was the initial time. The fake kidnapping. Your very first crime. When you were like 16. You got your hands on a two million dollar diamond, but... After Terry Falls escaped and went to meet with Valerie Hawthorne, the truth was exposed. 
Shut your mouth. That wasn't my fault. It was because of that stupid oaf of a prisoner and that weakling of a policewoman. Yeah, everything in your life is someone else's fault. Anyway, and then one year later, you tried to kill me. Ya yeah, bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm still standing, so there you go. <laughs> well, I'm still alive, but... Uh... You wound up killing someone else. And that's how you got arrested. As a result, you were sentenced to death. It's one stupid move after another for you. But it's no longer funny. Phew. Wipe that smug, happy-go-lucky smile off your face. I will when you do. <laughs> and now this. You've messed up again. You let Maya Faye escape. Even though she was right there in front of you. <sighs> Mia Faye. Mia Faye, Mia Faye, Mia Faye! You, you spinster! I spit. Yeah, you sp <laughs> I was supposed to kill Maya Fail like I swore I would. And if only you hadn't gotten that spiky haired jerk to the guilty verdict. Hi. I wouldn't have been hanged to death. It's almost like you're responsible for your own actions. Right. True. <laughs> but, it's, but I think you finally understand, Dahlia Hawthorne. You will never defeat me. What? What did you say? Whether you're alive or dead, somewhere in between, you will never defeat me. As long as I'm around, you're destined to lose for all eternity. Yes. I remember what you said earlier in the trial. You said there was no way we could punish you. Because you were already dead. What about it? Then you said, even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. That's very true, Dahlia. And that's exactly the punishment you'll never be able to escape from. For all of eternity, you'll have to, be, you'll have to remain as Dahlia Hawthorne. A miserable, pathetic, weak creature who can never win at anything. And for you, there's no escape from that. No hope of freedom. Since the day you were executed, the narrow bridge that once stretched out in front of you has burnt to a crisp. You... Oh... You are wrong. <laughs> it's written out in the sarcastic font. It can't be. How... How could I... Lose to the likes of you? She's gonna fucking explode. Yeah. <laughs> it no longer matters. I don't care whether you win or lose anymore. The only thing I want is for you to come out of Maya's body right now. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> don't destroy your throat. Nope. Perfect for Halloween! <laughs> Spooky bitch! That's cool. I'm not ready. Not ready to go. Maybe you should have found peace earlier. Bye, bitch. Be someone decent. Then again, if you didn't have a shitty mom... Maybe it wouldn't have been this bad for you. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Nick? Sis? Let's get her some water. <laughs> and, you know... Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of burgers. <laughs> All the burgers. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Anywho! <laughs> well then! <laughs> well then. I assume you are the real Iris? Yes. I was hey, just rescued from the sacred cavern. I must say, you and your twin sister are indeed identical from what I can see. In any case, it appears that everything has finally been cleared up. Mr. Gadot, what happened to Dahlia Hawthorne? If you ask me, Your Honor, it looks like she went back to hell- to the hell she came from. Hmm. It seems that Misty Fay wasn't the only victim of this crime. Maya Fay, as well as the young Pearl Fay, were also victims of this wicked and selfish plan. Yes, Your Honor. The tragedy of Medium Valley has finally come to an end, it seems. You looking at the fly? Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna squish it, but it ran away. <laughs> it ran away. It would be best for everyone if no further attempt was made to channel that spirit again. No shit! Shit. <laughs> um, your honor? Yes, what is it? About this whole spirit medium thing. It's almost weird how comfortable you seem to be with this concept now. He better be after all the <laughs> shit that's happened. Fuck. Well, to be frank, my younger brother is quite judgmental. You're both judges! He often criticizes me for not studying hard enough. So we were right. He literally was like, bro, get a backbone. <laughs> that's why he made a... No, that's why I... That's why I made a concerted effort to study up on the Korean channeling technique. Hey, isn't that the new New Year's issue of Occult? Well, yes. <laughs> I've seen quite a few things in my many years on the bench. In here or in or hockey? It's you and your brother, I don't know. <laughs> and in all that time, I finally learned this one thing. Each ca You <laughs> just learned this! Congratulations! Each case is different! Duh. And takes place in its own world, if you will. <laughs> in order to fully understand that world, First, we have to immerse ourselves in it completely. And that's where my brother and I used to differ. Hmm. I never thought of it that way. At any rate, it's time to pass judgment in the case of Iris of Hazukura Temple. Objection. What? You're a little too fast with that gavel, Your Honor. What do you mean? What are you talking about, you doof? This trial... It isn't over yet. That's what he means. What? Trite. Remember what Miss Evil Spirit- <laughs> Not even her name! What Miss Evil Spirit said in her testimony? <laughs> Dahlia's testimony? I caught up with her, in front of that stone lantern, when I took out the dagger I got from the storeroom, and... It's strange, but I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. I think... I think I was stabbed. Just as Dolly Hawthorne was about to attack Maya, she was stabbed and killed by someone. Yes, that's right. The person that was ult excuse you was ultimately killed in the spirit medium that channeled Dahlia. Did I say any of that right? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling to try and read it, and you're like, uh, my brain. Yeah, nothing was going in that in my brain. I was just like, nope. Words, words. That's okay. Where are they? Words. <laughs> At least the name. No Misty Fay. But, who killed her? We still don't know who did it. It isn't over! Nah. 
That's why you need further investigation. Unless someone else is found guilty, the accused is still on trial. We can't let her walk until there is evidence that proves her innocent. Innocence. No way. But this court isn't prepared for any further testimony. Get prepared, bitch! <laughs> the prosecution is ready to call our final witness. Final witness? This one will clear up the whole mystery. The mystery of who killed uh, Misty Fay. Hmm, indeed. Is it really alright, Mr. Prosecutor? <laughs> I like how so much of his rage is over Mia, but he's still willing to go against her out of spite just to get Phoenix, even though Mia could literally just say, Godot, go fuck yourself. It wasn't his fault. Of course it's all right, Madame Attorney. Very well then. Who is this final witness? Huh. Isn't it? No, it's not obvious you with you. Nothing's obvious with you. You're an ass. There's one person who saw the whole event and will put the final dagger in this case. Someone who saw the whole murder take place that wasn't all there, but whatever. The very person who saw her mother killed in front of her own eyes. You, you mean Maya? Uh, she supposed she should be in the hospital. Frankly, after how long she's gone without food and water, <laughs> you can't. She can't testify after what she's been through. She needs lots of soup. <laughs> And we need to find the truth. Yeah, no, lots of soup. It's both liquids and and something that's sustenance. <laughs> Especially she's been like two, three days without food. Mm. The prosecution calls Maya Fay to the witness stand. You do not want to give her solids until she builds a foundation there in her stomach. Cause holy fuck! A foundation in the stomach. Foundation in the stomach. <laughs> it's like when you said unfiltered meat. During the plate, uh, the uh, uncooked. What, is oh. it? what the fuck is it? Is it no overcooked? Overcooked. Yeah, you said unfiltered meat, and then you called it an unfiltered plate to say that it wasn't clean. Oh yeah. <laughs> then again, that was the exact same one where I was like, "You said X," when you clearly said square. But for some reason in my brain, I was like, "I, know, I was like, she says we we panicked a lot." Yes. So. <laughs> that was a lot. Us hearing shit was almost impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every now and then I just be like, unfiltered meat? What? Is it? You mean unchopped? Uncooked? What are you talking about? Yes, that. <laughs> There's a lot of bullshit in that one. Very well. <clears throat> but first, we'll take a break. Thank you. Voice not, not doing well. We'll Girl, take a recess. Done, so. <laughs> we'll have to wait for Miss Faye to recover before. Yes, thank you. Before summoning her. Hello, Festim24. Once we revive the doc- Revive? It is getting late. <laughs> yeah. Once we receive the doctor's permission, we will proceed with the trial. Sounds like a plansy. Hey, Trite. I've got some- You always have something to say. I've got something to say to you, so listen up. Ha! <laughs> the fuck you want? I don't think- much of you as a lawyer. Yeah, no shit. We know this. It's always the same with you. You somehow managed to squeak by without even a faint understanding of the case. We? What? <laughs> Some beautiful woman always seems to come dashing in at the last minute to save you. You're not even mad that Mia's dead. You're mad that she fucking saved my ass. You've got some nerve. Bro, are you just an incel? Is that all this is? But that's not gonna happen this time. Godot is jealous. Yeah. 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 Mia Fey is literally standing right next to me and could tell him he's being a dumbass, but he'd still be like, no, no, no. <laughs> she was should she she doesn't know any better. I know what's best for her. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, probably. <laughs> Not of girls of Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. This time, you're gonna have to do this by yourself. Cool. Duh. I mean, Edgeworth saved me many times, so. <laughs> yep. That's enough. This court is now in recess. Bo both of y'all shut the fuck up and go to lunch. I'm done with your bullshit. <laughs> Hi, Iris. Iris! February 10, 256 p.m. District Court for Defendant Lobby Number 1. Before you go blaming yourself, it's not your fault. <laughs> ah. You said that and then Because <laughs> I know what they do! Hey, <laughs> I'm truly really sorry about everything. You were working so hard to defend me. But I was missing all day and didn't even have a chance to talk. And you could have rectified that how? Like, what could you have done? There's nothing you could have done. That's <laughs> all. She's right. When I met, quote unquote, Iris at the training hall yesterday, they had already switched places. And Iris was inside the sacred cavern. Ah, uh, don't worry, Iris. Lana Sky was worse. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I wanted to at least be in the defendant's box today to root, root you on. Well, it wasn't your fault. You were locked up this whole time. Yeah, by your asshole of a fucking twin. <laughs> your asshole of a family, like, frankly, just please go to therapy. It'll be really good for you. There's something more important than that, though. I have to ask you. Why did you help your sister out as much as you did? Huh? If you had tried to get help at the Sacred Cavern yesterday, you wouldn't have spent an entire day locked up in there. My sister. I felt sorry for her. She was abandoned by her mother and never got any love from her father, either. Yes, but... It was the same for you too, wasn't it? Yes, but at least I had Sister Bikini, who was like a mother to me. Thank God for Sister Bikini. God knows what she would have acted like if she didn't have an actual good mother figure. Mm -hmm. If only Dahlia had come with me to Hazakura Temple. I think your sister was already up Shit's Creek without a paddle, considering her no. dad was like... Well, that's why she's saying if she had uh, left her dad and gone with her to be with Sister Bikini. If she had been there too. Yeah, but uh, Dahlia was the one that told her dad to send Iris to the temple. Yes, I know. So, I'm saying shitty people do horrible things sometimes and then get better. Probably Dahlia would have already killed all... Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, when you have a shitty family dynamic, sometimes you turn out shitty. Eh. That's why I was shitty until I was like 25. <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> I, left. I only met you after, yeah. so... <laughs> no, we met when I was 24. I was still a bit of an ass. So yeah, basically, you can grow out of that shit once you run away. <laughs> run around. I always, I always loved her. Dolly was always so smart, so strong. She never complained about a thing. I should rectify that to say, not so much run away. My parents are awesome. It was other shit happening that I had to get away from. <laughs> it was yeah. better for me. Yeah. That's why I, that's why I promised her that I would help her. Didn't want anyone being like, are his parents bad? Like, no, my parents are wonderful. Are you talking about the fake kidnapping case 11 years ago? Yes. I I wanted to be useful to her in some way. But, but as usual, I was too cowardly. And at the last minute, I ran away. Because of that... Dahlia's stepsister, Valerie, ended up... That was the case that wounded Mia so badly. But things didn't end there, of course. Some people suspected that my sister was involved in the murder. Some people? You must mean... Yes, two defense attorneys. Mia Fey and Diego Armando. After poisoning Mr. Armando, who was getting too close to learning the truth, Dahlia even tried to kill the person who 
had unknowingly hid the poison for her. You. That's right. Iris, there's one more thing I have to ask you. Yes? What is it? On the night of the murder, the person that cleaned up the corpse of the victim, Edistonim, was it really you? Yes, that was me. That night after I rang the light out bell, I went back to my room. At around 10.30, I received a call on my cell phone. You have a cell phone? <laughs> <laughs> There's a problem. Come to the inner temple right away. I... I got on the snowmobile and headed for the inner temple. But... <laughs> <laughs> the path to the inner temple was cut off, right? Exactly. We can't just leave the body here. So you've got to do this exactly as I say. Got it? <laughs> Fucking yeet! <laughs> it was me. I was the one that received her body. They could throw in the river. Unfortunately, there is no river per se. The river is like closer to where she was versus the other one, they would have found the body very easily. <laughs> Throw in the river after the fact, I don't know why they didn't just do that, but whatever. <laughs> the murder weapon had been. The murder weapon had been left in her body so she wouldn't bleed out too much. The staff that Mystic Elise always held. I knew it. So the actual murder weapon was the staff. Yes, that's right. I brought the body back to Hazakuda Temple on the snowmobile. But why? Why did you alter the body? I didn't want anyone to know what the staff... I didn't want anyone to know that the staff was the murder weapon. I didn't want to leave anything that would lead back to Miss Tifei. So I dressed her in a robe and stabbed her with the shin... Shi chi shi to. There you go. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I whipped the blood off the staff, off the staff's blade, and left it next to her on the ground. Words! <laughs> Iris, just tell me one last thing. Tell me the name of the person that called you, uh, your cell phone, the real killer. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I can't do it. I can't say who did it. I see. Victim staff updated in the course record. Defendant! Y yes The judge is calling on you. He wants to see you in his chambers. He has some questions about Dahlia Hawthorne. Alright. Sorry, what? She wants to go to jail? <laughs> no, she has trauma, meaning that she will defend family no matter how fucking toxic they are, and no matter what it means it will do to her. Yeah. She will suffer for people who will not suffer for her. Technically, we still don't know exactly who did mm. the killing of Misty Fay, because... Process of elimination. Yes, we're but gonna it's, assume it's, but I'm Maya that, didn't. She didn't because she wasn't even there. I'm saying what I'm <laughs> saying is she's just throwing herself under the bus because she's used to doing that because yeah. she has the child syndrome of that. Yeah. Okay, Iris, we'll set you guilty. You want this? Bye. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, she's more of an accomplice at this point. We just need to find out who the fuck the real killer is. <laughs> well then, I'll see you later. There's something I want to tell you. Oh, uh, okay. Something she wants to tell me? So it's true. Iris cooperated with the, ki the real killer. Maybe even from the very beginning. Phoenix. Sup? Hello. Mia. Um, how is Maya doing? Physically, I'm not worried. She'll recover completely. But emotionally, she's been very 
She's been hurt very badly by this case. Well, yeah, someone made her stab her physically stab her mom. Someone forced her body. It's not. It's. Don't tell her not to blame herself. Okay. <laughs> you don't mean she's learned who these Dunim really was. Yes, I went to the me to the medical office and talked with her. I told her everything I knew. Because she has a right to know, Phoenix. But why? Maya is stronger than you think. Hi, Kat. I knew she could take it. All of it. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I want you to figure out that answer out. I want you to figure that answer out by yourself. The trial's about to restart. The real killer. Do you know who it is yet? Iris wouldn't tell me who called her, but still. I think that just- I think that just maybe I know who it was. That night, the victim was killed in the Garden of the Inner Temple. And the criminal wasn't just there by accident. Which means that the killer knew of Dahlia's plan from the very beginning. And of course Mia won't tell us. No! <laughs> And one more thing. The victim was moved to Hazakura Temple site by Pendulum. In other words, the criminal couldn't cross the bridge. That means they were stuck on the inner temple side for almost an entire day. Exactly. So the culprit was someone who wasn't in Hazakura Temple the following day. That's as much help as I can give you. The rest of the battle is yours to win, or lose. Okay, I got it. Thank you, Mia. Finally. It's almost time to bring this case to an end. Before you go, please, go yeet something at Gadot. <laughs> yeet his own coffee at him. Yes. <laughs> what exactly did Maya see, anyway? And who was it that actually killed Misty Fay? Whoever it was, I have to prove it. Me, all by myself. Me, myself, and I. Mm -hmm. To be continued next week. Woo! I gotta do a wee bit of a save. I have to do laundry. I have to take the boy for a W A L K. I have to have a shower. Yeah. I has chores. Chores. Meal prep. Mia got so cringe ah. by all that kitten stuff. <laughs> yeah. Kitten stuff? What? Diego. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Diego. Ah, <laughs> uh, boys. Alright, we're gonna end this here for tonight. All I could think of is Game Grumps, because <laughs> Aaron and Dan have been doing this bit this whole season about uh, Daddy and Kitten. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So fucking funny, man. Ah, uh, damn it. Everyone in the comments, oh, I hate it when they do the kitten daddy thing. I'm like, troll That's them funny. for life, bro. Never stop. All right. We're going to end this here for tonight. Hey, you so thank you, everyone, who's been watching the stream. If you enjoyed it and you have not done so already, you can always follow me on Twitch so you know the next time I pop online. Hi, cat. He's already walking away like, all right, they're done. Yay. I also have a YouTube channel if you wish to see the previous videos I've done in the past of this game or any other games I've done. Uh, there's a link down below if you wish to see any of those. And for the people on YouTube, we'll see this later on. If you want to see the videos live, you can always pop on over to the Twitch channel. Link is in the description of every one of my videos. If not, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel so you know the next time a new video pops up. Also, he's the artist that does my shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he has a Patreon down below if you wish to support him or I check out stops. and check out any of his other stuff that he's done. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. The dog knows. Good night. <laughs> Bye cat. You know too. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Boop.